Sợ Đâu How you doing? You look good For a long time Just about every day on my way to work I would stop at Dunkin Donuts and get some coffee Oh yeah I've been doing this for a while And I'd stop at the drive through and pick it up A while ago I went there one day to the same location that I always did It's close to my house and on the way to work Right before I get onto the freeway One morning it was just like any other I got ready for work, left my house And then went to Dunkin When I got to the drive through It was busy like usual Eventually, I placed my order and got around to the window and paid. When I was there, they told me to pull around and park in the parking lot, and they would bring my drink out to me shortly. This was strange. I had never had to do this before, especially because I just got one drink and not a huge order. I drove and found an open parking space in the front of the building. I was thinking maybe they ran out of one of the ingredients in my drink and had to get more or something like that. I waited for a few minutes and was just browsing my phone. Then finally, I saw somebody approach my driver's window. They weren't carrying a coffee, though. I rolled down my window then. It was a guy with long hair and a black shirt. I thought he worked at Duncan at first because of his shirt, and he also had a Duncan hat on, but the man just stood there and stared at me. I rolled down my window and asked him what was going on. The man stood there staring at me for a moment, then said in a loud voice to get out of the car. My instincts were telling me to leave. So I backed out. The man just stared at me as I did and watched me leave. I drove away and went to work without getting coffee. The next day, I saw that the Duncan location was closed. And when I looked online, it said temporarily closed, but I couldn't find any information as to why. After that, I started going to another place for coffee in the morning instead. Hell no. Hell no. used to work at a Dunkin' Donuts about three or four years ago. I only worked there for about three months, and the job wasn't really for me. When I worked there, I would do a little bit of everything. I was often helping people in the drive-thru. One day when I was working, a man came through the drive-thru and ordered a coffee. When he got to the window and I handed it to him, he asked me for my number, and he seemed sort of creepy. I told the man no, but tried to be nice to him. He seemed a lot older than me was a big guy with a slight beard and brownish hair that was messy. The guy said okay to me and then left. Things like this didn't happen often, but would occasionally, and normally it wasn't a big deal. But later in that day, the man came back. It was about two hours later, and he walked inside the restaurant this time. I had moved to working near the front counter, and didn't even remember him at first because of how busy we had been. It wasn't as busy now, though, as it was later. And the man came up to the counter and asked me if I remembered him. At that point is when I did. And he started talking to me, asking me if I wanted to go out with him. What? I told him that I was working and I didn't want to. I then told him I didn't have time to talk. If he wasn't going to order anything, I had to help the next person in line. He then put his hands up and said, all right. And then started to walk away. It was the afternoon now and we closed at 8 p.m. So I only had a few hours left. I got back to work didn't see the man again during my shift. The last hour was very quiet, and as the sun set and it got dark out, we would rarely get very many customers. My coworker Anna went to sweep the floors of the restaurant, which is something that we usually did shortly before closing. I started to do some cleaning behind the counters. Anna came back a few minutes later and said to me that there was a guy who seemed to be pacing and walking around the parking lot. Oh yeah? There were no other cars there other than ours. And she mentioned how it seemed a little weird because he kept looking over. He came out from behind the counter and looked out the window. It was the same man who talked to me two times earlier that day. I told Anna this. We both figured that he knew we were closing and was waiting for me to leave. We both were very concerned and I decided to call my dad. Luckily, we lived only a few miles away and it wasn't too far of a drive. My dad said he would be there soon. And when he arrived, he was able to pick me up right outside the door so I didn't have to talk to the man. He drove Anna and I to our cars, which were at the other end of the parking lot. But we didn't have to deal with the guy who was being extremely creepy. When we all left, we saw the guy just standing in the middle of the parking lot watching us. I didn't work at Duncan much longer after that. I never worked another closing shift or saw the man again, luckily. But I do wonder what would have happened if I had walked to my car by myself that night.
He would have gotten that ass and caught you up. Fuck you. I mean, caught you talking about. I want to curse like I used to curse so bad. About five years ago, I finally went to Dunkin' Donuts for my first time ever. I'd been meaning to go there for years and always known it was popular, but I never got around to it until then. I went to one on the other side of town and walked inside. It was the morning and I could see that it was really busy because there was a lot of people in line. I got to the back of the line and waited. The line slowly moved forward and I noticed that a man got in line behind me. The man was standing uncomfortably close to me and I turned around to see that it was a really tall guy with sunglasses on and a black coat. I would have said, I would have turned around. First of all, I would have noticed, I would have just felt something just on me. stood a really close distance from me. Wow. Finally, when it was my turn to order, I got a couple of donuts to try them and see how they were. After I ordered it, it was the weird guy's turn, but I noticed that he didn't go up to the counter and order. He just stood there. And then when I left, he followed me out the door. Oh. With the sunglasses on, I couldn't really get a good look at the guy. And I didn't know what his deal was, but I walked back to my car in the parking lot and got inside. Thankfully, the guy didn't follow me, and I watched him walk to a car a few spaces away. I got out the donuts and was eating them in my car. I noticed that the guy got in the driver's seat of his car, which just looked like a regular silver car. Then he started watching me with his sunglasses still on. This was starting to become really weird, so I decided it was best to leave. I put the second donut away, and just as I was about to back out of the parking space that I was in, I saw the silver car that the guy was in start to move. I was hoping he would leave, so I waited there, but instead, he backed out of his space and kept moving backwards until his car was completely blocking mine from leaving. Then, I watched the man exit his car and walk over to the back of mine. It looked like he took a photo of my license plate and then touched the back of my car. Then he got back inside of his car and drove away. After this, I drove home, hoping that the guy wasn't secretly following me or anything like that. I don't think he was, and I got home just fine. I was wondering the whole time exactly what he was doing back there and why he would take a picture of my license plate. Then I went to go inside and as I passed by the back side of my car, I noticed that where the man had touched my car, there appeared to be some sort of bumper sticker. I looked at it and saw that it didn't have any writing on it. I picked it off my car because I didn't want it on there and went to throw it away. Then I saw that on the other side, it said, I'm watching you. Oh my God. It looked like it had been written in Sharpie. I threw it in the garbage and went inside. After that, I never saw the guy again, but I wonder sometimes if he was actually stalking me or if he got me confused with somebody else. He was stalking you. He probably still stalking you. I work at a Dunkin' Donuts. I've been working there for roughly a year. The craziest thing that's happened so far was about four months ago. I typically work opening shifts. We open at 6 a.m., so I get there long before that and help with getting things ready before we open. We make donuts and do more preparing and things like that. One morning, I was the first one to arrive. There was usually a few of us working, and when I got inside, I turned on a light in the back. I began to get a few things ready and wait for some of my coworkers to show up and help. I then heard a noise come from the back area where there were a bunch of boxes and things like that. I guessed I wasn't alone. One of my coworkers was there after all. I called out, hey, but didn't get a response. I sat there in silence for a few minutes. Then, when I finally moved again, I thought I heard another noise come from back there. That's when I decided to investigate. I walked back to the boxes, and there were a lot of them. This was in the very back area, and none of us went over here very often. I looked around, and it was mostly dark, and I didn't see anything at all. Then, I thought I heard a very small noise. I walked farther back and looked behind one of the larger boxes. That's when I saw a man crouch behind it looking at me. This was probably the last thing that I was expecting to see, and I jumped back in shock. 
He didn't work there and I had no idea who he was. I started walking back quickly when I heard him start to get up and I started running at that point. I then heard the man let out a loud yell, almost a scream. He wasn't saying anything, but just screaming basically. I ran to the bathroom and locked myself inside. Thankfully, there was a whole room for the bathroom, not just some stalls, so the man couldn't get inside. The man tried opening the door, but couldn't get in. I then heard him walk away. I got out my phone and started to call the police, but just then, I heard the front door open and a woman scream. This was my coworker Sydney, who was arriving to work. I opened the bathroom door up and saw the man running from in front of the counter to behind it. Then I saw Sydney standing in the entrance of the doorway. She then turned and ran back outside into the parking lot. I used this opportunity to run to the door and leave the building as well. The man was somewhere in the back again, and Sydney and I called the police and waited in our cars for them to arrive. When they did, they were able to go inside and get the man. I don't know how he got inside, but I guess he must have found his way in the previous night and hid when we closed. to be honest. I cannot, like, you know how disturbing it is? You know how disturbing it is to, to, to feel somebody behind you and you don't know who that person is? Like, have any of you all, have, have any, have any of you all ever had that experience where, like, you just in line or you somewhere Right, or you at a party, oh, 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 something happened to all that. Okay, so let me know if this ever happened to you. Like, you just somewhere, and you and somebody you feel somebody, or you hear somebody. I feel like feeling somebody behind you, like within inches, is so disturbing. It's all right, but like. All right, so this kind of this happened like a few days ago. Me and my uh, girlfriend, we was at a Malcolm X Festival, and her family was there too, right? And one of one of uh, my girlfriend's mom kids, I think she's. Sixteen, I think I don't know. Um, and you know she was dancing with um some of her friends, and there was like <clears throat> like there was like people performing, people singing and rapping and stuff on stage. And <clears throat> you know the God <clears throat> and like the girls, you know the daughters, underage. They was like towards the front, and me, my, me, and my girl, we was like kind of like a few feet behind them. But so this is this is us, this is them, and there was like this guy behind the girls, and the girls, well, specifically the girl that I'm talking about. I just say, let's say Lexi. She was dancing, you know, they were, they were, everybody in the crowd was dancing. They, they were vibing. But like Lexi, she wasn't really paying attention to her surroundings. Luckily, me and my girlfriend was, right? And the way she was dancing, it's 9 11 right now. The way she was dancing, she was like, kind of like backing it up, right? Um, and you had this middle aged guy. And he, the way he was dancing, he, I kid you not, he was dancing like this. On me, he was dancing like this. It was like he saw the girl's ass, like Lexi ass, and he, but like he was just dancing like this, like with his pelvis out. So he was like dancing. But he kept getting closer and closer. And me and my girl, we just looked at it like, Igor, are you going to stop moving towards her? 
So then that's when we got, he never made contact with her, but he's got real close. And I don't like that at all. You know, I, I regardless of your age, I don't really like, like that. Um, so we, we kind of got in between the guy and Lexi. And I think Lexi, I mean, and I think Farashi just told, you know, Lexi should like, I don't know what she said exactly, but she pushed her out the way. Um, and, you know, there was much more of a greater distance between the guy. And I think the guy just walked off into the distance or whatever. But, like, that was just so weird, man. Oh, my God. Jesus. And then after, you know, like, I guess after that song was over, I'm farting right now, but I guess, like, after that song was over, you know, Lexi just sat down with her, uh, she kind of freaked out, to be honest, because I think, I think Farasha told Lexi, like, there was a guy, there was a grown man trying to grind up on you, and she kind of, like, freaked out. Um, noticeably, she kind of, like, freaked out. She was like, where? Um, but then after the song was over, she just sat down with her mom. And I, I, um, uh, walked over to Lexi, and I was just like, you gotta watch your surroundings, please. Because you got creeps out there that just want to, like, grow. Oh, my God. But, yeah. I don't know if you, if you all have any stories, like, you know, people just being up behind you and just being real close for no reason. Well, let me know that. But if you don't, you know, feel comfortable saying that, you don't have to. Just, that's just creepy as hell. Keep cool, keep it classy, and I love you, stay happy, my family.